Hi, and welcome to Tech Talk number 15, Chart Customizers. Um, so today's Tech Talk is quite technical um, in the sense that chart customizers are typically going to be written by a Java programmer. So they get deep down into the code of one of our chart generation libraries and lets you customize it in, um, in very deep ways. And so for that, I've brought on John Johnson. So John Johnson is a professional services consultant for um, English-speaking European countries, um, German and French as well. And so you might know him from uh, from your office, or if not, he's he is on the team and would be available to help you guys um, implement these. Um, so John, thanks a lot for being on the show and carry us away with chart customizers. Hi there. Okay, well... What is the point of chart customizers? Why do we need them? Uh, what can we do with them? Um, you may know that in JasperSoft we have three uh, possibilities uh, for charting. Uh, JFree Charts, which is a pure Java um, library, uh, an open source project. There are Fusion Charts, uh, written in Adobe Flash, and the uh, Java, JavaScript-based High Charts. Are we gonna, we're not going to talk about the, the, the second two too much. We're going to concentrate on JFree Charts, um, which, as I said, is a um, open source project purely written in Java. Uh, now, what does that mean? What's the implications of that for us? Uh, well, that means that if we find that we cannot achieve the functionality that we would like through the standard uh, methods, we have the possibility to um, extend the, the functionality uh, by writing our, our own pieces of Java and um, implementing those Java uh, pieces of Java code. Okay, so what is the um, what's the the process for doing that? Um, well, first of all, you would have to write a class that implements a particular interface, which I'll demonstrate. Uh, a little bit later. Then you have to package that new class in a jar file, and I'll demonstrate that process also. Then in iReports, you have to tell the report that, that there exists a new class which can um, perform a particular piece of functionality that, that we've now written. And then you uh, need to put that new class on the iReports class path. So, I will go over to the iReports tool, and we can have a look at a report. Uh, this is a simple report that if you've done any of the training courses you might recognize. Uh, it's a report called Employee Report, which shows the number of female and male employees in a particular uh, department of a company. I'll just run that now. So here we see it's a 3D bar chart. Um, male in red, uh, female in blue, and up above it we can see that there is a scale. Uh, now you might find that scale is a bit misleading because of course we have um, fractions of people there which uh, is not always uh, easy to achieve in real life. 0 0.5 men and women, 2.5 men and women, we, we might want to change that presentation. Um, now normally when you want to change some some aspect of the uh, bar chart or, or a J3 chart here in iReports, you can use the uh, properties box to change the value of a particular element. So for example, I could um, change the orientation of this bar, bar chart. At the moment, it's a horizontal bar chart. I could set it to uh, being a vertical bar chart. And as you can see, there's a whole list of options here that we can we can use. Um, now, it may happen that you've, you go through all this list of these properties and you still can't get the behavior that you'd like for your chart. Perhaps you want to change the functionality. For example, you might want to remove a particular bar in a particular set of circumstances, you might want to add some behavior that doesn't exist out of the box. So um, there is a mechanism which JasperSoft has put in place to, to do that. 
uh, write this customizer class, which you can see on the properties box. There is a property, customizer class. So as I explained earlier, we have to write this class to implement a particular interface. And if we look at the Jasper Reports API, on, which is available on SourceForge, I'll also put up a link to this later on, we see that there is a class, uh, an interface called JR Chart Customizer, which has one method called Customize. And this is the method that we have to uh, implement. This is where we're going to write any of our new behavior. So if I start up uh, Eclipse, here is a small class. It's just a few lines of code. And it's going to, I'm not going to go through the logic of the code, but it, you can probably see from the naming names of the, of the classes that it's going to restrict the uh, display of the axis to uh, whole integer values, create integer tick units. Now these classes here that we're using are J free charts classes. And if you want to find out more about those, they are also available online. Uh, here's the link to their uh, class, their API for their classes, which again I will display at the end of this tech talk in the list of resources. But when you're trying to write a customizer, you're going to need this uh, API to uh, find out what classes are going to be available to you, what methods you can use when you're writing your customizer. OK, so this is my customizer. I've cut, put in a package called customizers. Um, I've called it my bar chart customizer, and it implements this particular interface and this method. Uh, if you look at my uh, the libraries I've had to use, I've used the Jasper Reports jar, the J Free Charts jar, and the Common jar. Uh, how how did you pick the version of the J Free Charts uh, jar? Is that um, did you get that directly from the one that we embed in the library, or I used the one that was embedded in the the latest one that was embedded in the library? So I I dug through the uh, the 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 particular uh, okay. in in um, in I reports, and you should be able to find the the, the which which, which kind of makes sense because um, just keep in mind, I, I suppose we we might package different versions of J free charts with different versions of of, yeah, that's uh, right. So Jasper's. you'll find the latest one there. Great. Thanks. Okay. So once you've written this uh, this class here, uh, you need to uh, export it as a jar file. So I'm going to do that now, and I'm saving it here in this new jar file called wholenumbers.jar. Okay, so that that's me now finished with my, my piece of code. Uh, I can close that. I can go off and look into my file system. And here is where I've written it out, this new jar file. So I need to tell this report that, exi that, that exists a customizer class. And one of the properties here, as I mentioned earlier, is called customizer class. So I just need to edit its properties and put in the full class path, customizers dot my bar chart customizer. I'll just check I spelled everything correctly. Again, we'll look at the I'll look at Eclipse. The package is customizers. Class is my bar chart customizer. Oh, so you could so have here. multiple classes there and then you would have one chart calling one and another chart calling another if you wanted to you could theoretically do that yes that's, that's, oh, okay. that's right excellent okay so I will say okay so now my my report knows all about my customizer class I also need to make sure it's on the class path so from the main menu I will um, Choose options under the tools. 
and go to this class path tab. I believe I'd already added it. I will show you the process how we would have added it if I had not already added it. So I will add the jar. Here is the uh, jar file. The reason I check that box here is to make the class reloadable. So if I was going through some development process and I was I wanted to make sure that the latest version of the jar was included in my uh, in my report with my changes, I want to make the class reloadable. Because you know you might be developing in the real world you'd be developing a customizer you may have to try out some things to see if it's working correctly. Okay, so there's my uh, class in the class path. And I save everything, and I will give it a run to see if that has been successful. OK, so there's my chart. Now I only have whole numbers here in the scale. So that is a simple um, customizer. Now you might want to use customizers for all sorts of things. You could. Uh, change the functionality in which, whichever way you needed to. That was just a simple a simple example, but you could have quite complex pieces of logic in a customizer class. You could change the, uh, the functionality of the JFree charts libraries quite extensively. It really depends on what your uh, need is, what your requirement. Um, something that you can't achieve via the normal uh, changing settings in the properties box. So that is um, the customizer class. Now the second, a second thing you can do with these um, uh, with these charts, you may want to apply a set of changes to a large number of reports. Um, and for this, we have a um, mechanism called a chart theme. Uh, you can write a chart theme quite simply. It's not something that I'm going to talk about in this tech talk, but I'll just briefly demonstrate the start point. You can see when you, in the same process where you create a new report, you have the option to create a new chart theme. Once you do that, you can package it in a jar file. You can install it in your class path here in iReports. You can also install it on your server. And then you will have access to that new theme, and you can apply it to a whole. They can be applied to a whole set of reports you may be developing for a customer. Um, here in the properties box, we see just underneath the customizer class, we can set the theme. At the moment, it's set to default. There are several themes here. I can choose Aegean, for example, and we see here that the uh, the color scheme has been changed. Yeah, so this this is like less about, I guess, customization and more about styling, right? Because it's like the position of the um, the elements and things like that, but but not. I would as... say that the themes is more uh, purely a graphic, uh, applying graphic styles, and the important thing to remember is it's a way of defining a, a style which can be then applied to a whole set of reports. You know, if you've gone and developed, uh, you're working on 30 or 40 reports for a client, and then um, they decide to change the corporate color, you don't want to have to go through every report and um, have to uh, change it all by hand. You can just assign, you could, you could define a, a, a theme and then apply each theme to the new, uh, each, each new report, which would make things a bit, a bit quicker. Okay, so um, those are how to do customizers and chart themes. I'll just go back to the PowerPoint now and go back through these points that we, we just to reiterate what I did there. Uh, the first step is to write a class which implements the JR chart customizer. You then package that new class in a jar file. You set the customizer class property in iReports, and you 
put the jar on the iReports class path. Or if you were going to install the report on the server, you would install that jar file in the resource section of the particular report unit you're, you're dealing with. Okay, so 